Today is the day of my quantum midterm, and normally I would have to be on my way to go tutoring right now, um, but my tutoring appointment got canceled, so I have about three hours until my quantum midterm. Uh, give myself an hour to get to ODU, which means I have two hours to study. So that's cool. I didn't think I'd have this much time to study the day before, so I'm going to go over some perturbation theory a bit more. I feel really confident about the section on addition of angular momentum. That was my weak point, and now that's like my strong point now. I, I, at a fundamental level, I understand it now, I think. Um, so next, I want to make sure that I can derive from first principles uh, the equations for first order perturbation theory. I want to do some examples where I calculate corrections to the energy for uh, certain for certain wave functions. And if I have time left over, then that's time left over. I, I feel pretty good so far. By the way, if you guys are in quantum or any physics classes, a, a, uh, a YouTube channel that I've just recently found that is just phenomenal for studying quantum is uh, NPTELHRD. So I, I use that YouTube channel and I YouTube perturbation theory and I YouTube uh, like things like Clebsch Gordon coefficients. And this guy just has really long videos where he explains these concepts and does examples at the undergraduate quantum level, and it's just it's crystal clear. Um, also, Brant Carlson's a great resource and MIT Open Courseware. Okay, uh, perturbation theory checked off for the most part. Really, this section really just depends on what kind of perturbing potential my professor gives us during the exam. Like if he gives us some spin coupled to angular momentum pertur uh, perturbed potential for the harmonic oscillator in three dimensions or something, like I, I can still do it, but it's more involved. Um, speaking of, I need to, the last thing that I need to do before I think I'm completely 100% ready is just go over perturbation theory in three dimensions just to make sure I, you know, don't forget a factor of r squared or something somewhere. I did just find out that all we're expected to do is find the corrections to the energies, not the corrections to the wave functions, which is, again, it's still first order, so it's not even that wouldn't have been hard, but, you know, it's one less thing to worry about. I think I'm pretty much done with studying now, so I'm going to head to ODU. There have definitely been days where I was unprepared and not ready to take a test. But it is not this day. So, let's do it. I just got to ODU uh, to meet with someone to study last minute, and I just got an email from um, from ODU grad school, and I thought I might want to record it. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm kind of nervous. So here it goes. I'm just looking on my phone. Dear Mr. Dotson, on behalf of the physics department at Old Dominion University, I am pleased to inform you that we are offering you admission to Old Dominion University Physics PhD program for fall 2018. <laughs> well, your boy got into a grad school. <laughs> so, that's good. Let's, hope, let's try to maintain this feeling throughout the day after taking this exam. Okay. <laughs> cool. How'd everybody do? Uh, I got an easy 100 minus .999. Yeah, because yeah, you forgot that H bar. You forgot the H bar too? No. Uh, I'm pretty confident I got it. I didn't forget no H bar. Well, I guessed yeah, the quantum face. number, so... <laughs> we already had it. Oh, I just, like, I had no idea what the quantum number for LZ was. Okay. Now that I'm home, uh, got my exams knocked out. Quantum went really well. I'm pretty sure I got a... a Pretty sure I aced the quantum exam. It was, it was just easy to be honest. Like there were no trick questions. Three questions, pretty straightforward. Uh, there was one that was talking about just addition of angular momentum. There were, and then there were two um, first order of perturbation theory problems where they gave us a perturbing Hamiltonian. Said use what you know about this to calculate the correction to the energy. So it was really straightforward. Um, now I need to do my lab for my programming class, and yeah. And as I mentioned earlier, I got into a graduate school. I got into ODU's graduate program for physics. Um, still waiting to hear back from, I think, six other schools. So yeah, it's awesome I got in. Um, waiting to hear back from the other ones as well. And we'll see how that goes.
It was really reassuring to actually get into a grad school after being rejected from two because you you start to think like what's what's wrong with me? Uh, so, so that was nice. That was a nice little win today. Um, I don't think I'll get much more recording done because I have to focus on doing my lab for the programming class. Uh, I also want to be able to edit this and put this out even though there wasn't much footage. That'll probably conclude it for this video. See you next time.